All right, guys. Welcome back to Star Traders Frontiers. Uh, my name is Proteus, and um, we've skipped forward just a tiny bit. Um, I went ahead and upgraded the ship a little bit. Um, I'll scroll through them now just so you can see what we did. Um, we did get the combat hyperwarp drive. Um, that's increased our navigation from the uh, basic hyperwarp drive. There we go. That way we can see what we gained. So we did get one navigation out of that. We also got uh, two pilot and we gained one electronics. Um, also gained more shielding, um, armor, and um, does increase our fuel usage a little bit, but definitely worth it considering we are going to be uh, fighting people. Um, now moving on, um, we also picked up this uh, rail gun and um, we got rid of the lance. Um, we went with a rail gun and we also got this uh, plasma cannon as well. And um, we also got rid of the torpedoes. So we're going to be focusing on getting into range um, three combat. That will allow us to take advantage of um, the additional accuracy that will be on the railgun at range 3. And um, we also get additional accuracy for our plasma cannon at range 3. And then we will still be able to fire our um, our missile our, uh, missiles at range 3 as well. We just won't get that accuracy boost. Um, yeah. So, let's get to it. Oh, we also, um, I'm sorry, we also got a uh, defense pattern matrix, which is, um, which gave us um, uh, piloting ship ops electronics, and then, um, as you see, the initiative, the 5% defense, the shield, and um, adds to our jump cost. Um, I'm thinking our next move on the ship is going to be, um, I was playing around a little bit and I kind of uh, miscalculated. So I, I bought this mass dampener for, which is right now is a complete waste. But what we're gonna do is um, we will be uh, changing out this cargo hold to a interrogation ward. And uh, then we'll be getting rid of these two uh, prison cells that we have down here. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. Um, I did pick up some missions. Um, I think... Let me check the time on them all. So Urban Tombstone is the first by almost a year. And it's also in Fifth Pass, which it's the only mission over there. So we're going to head and head over there and uh, take care of that first. Um, I did run into a bounty hunter and it's Clan Mokwam New. We will... I have cargo, so I'm going to bribe him. Didn't realize I had that cargo. Let's see what it is so we can get rid of it. Oh, it's nothing. I could have let him inspect us. Let's just go ahead and get rid of that real quick. Um, it's not worth anything. I don't even know why I bothered with it. Alright. Let's fly over to 5th Pass. Now, obviously, I could have uh, sold the cargo at a uh, different zone for higher profit, but um, it's uh, such a low-cost item that I'd rather just go run my missions. Uh, looks like Javat and Thulin is in a alliance right now. Which is not going to affect us. There is a pirate fleet in N Nadello Run. I mean Nadeo. I mean Nadeo Run. I don't know. But let's uh, take a look and see where that's at. I think it must be pretty far away, right? Yeah, that's not it right there. Yeah, that's... Uh, not going to really matter to us. 
Well, actually, that is a Kadar system. They're going to take some Kadar rep damage here. That may come into play. We'll see where we're at if we uh, are able to get a contact for Kadar soon or not. But let's go ahead and take care of this mission. This is a urban tombstone mission, so we are looking to kill somebody for uh, the Steel Song Clan. Uh, it says clearly out of options, Kasim is lurking among the shadows of the Spice Hall. Uh, we need to pinpoint her location without tipping our hand. Um, so we will use, we'll probably use this uh, electronics one, sizzling wires. And fantastic, that worked out just fine for us. Uh, we got paid 36000 and now we should know where she is, and now it's time to kill her. Uh, she hired some local muscle for protection. Uh, edict and death warrant in hand, we are within our rights to go in shooting. Killing Kasim and her bodyguard will set the best example. Alright, let's do it. So, to battle we go. And... Let's get into it. Captain starting off with like super high initiative. It's a fantastic course. We're gonna use gliding advance here. And let's start by killing this pistol here. Alright. Let's see about Probably do backline leader. Go ahead and get that buff up for everybody. Taking some steady damage here. Captain should kill the pistolier here. Perfect. Oh, that was a big hit. I think we have to go full auto here to uh, make sure nothing bad happens. Yeah, now we'll go dissection with our captain, and actually, I think, yeah, we're gonna go dissection. All right, pretty decent hit there. Now, unfortunately, our bodyguard is suppressed. He's also um, bleeding and not within range to honor guard. He needs to be in slot one for that. Um, which we did pick up a tactical push for our soldier here. Um, which would have allowed us to do that had he not uh, gotten knocked back. So we'll just attempt to kill here. And we missed. It's a good thing he didn't attack my medic, because I think uh, that may have killed her. Killed him. Alright, let's try again with the bodyguard. And we did defeat him. Fantastic. So we did lose three rep with the star there, and I, unfortunately that means uh, I'm not going to be able to use spice walls in Kadar zones, but uh, that is okay. Um, so that's the only mission we have in 5th pass, so I think that we are going to be headed out. Oh wait, I lied. I have several missions here. I don't know why, I thought I only had the one. Um, that says... Okay. Let's actually read this for a second, huh? Yeah, that's definitely here, as is this one. Alright, let's, uh... Instead, let's find a planet that we can heal at, and then we can uh, continue with the rest of our missions here. Looks like we also have a rumor in the zone. It is heavy patrols. Fantastic. <laughs> so we're going to be running into a lot of uh, Kadar here in 5th Pass who don't like us. So that might, uh, might be an issue. I'm sure it's nothing that we won't be able to bribe ourselves bribe our way out of, though. I think we'll keep going with the bodyguard levels. And 
It's fantastic. We are getting a skill point. I'm thinking we're probably going to go with screening fire, but let's see what else we can get at level 5 bodyguard. Hamstring slicer, body shot. These are both pretty good. Um, I think screening fire is better because of that uh, that negative twenty all damage debuff, as well as accuracy. Um, so I think we're gonna go with that. All right. So, we can go ahead and head this way and complete this mission. Uh, it does look like we're headed to this counter agent mission. So it looks like we'll be blockading for this first part here, and I think spying for the other mission. Uh, that is an okay hand. Uh, nothing in this hand that's going to be trouble for us. Should be able to bribe our way out of the military ship. Uh, psych. Look at that, I was super wrong. I guess that's because our rep is so bad with them on top of doing something like blockading, which is awesome. Also, uh, I think the heavy patrols is also um, causing an issue there. Uh, looks like we might not be able to escape, so maybe we just plan on fighting. So we're going to fire with our missiles. Um, we're going to put evasive maneuvers on and attempt to move forward. Alright, they applied target lock to us and void contortions, but uh, we are moving forward. We're not trying to escape, so it's not going to affect us too badly. I think we are going to... Use an elusive barrage and um, attempt to move forward. Good, if he's using Twitch Surge, means we'll be in to range 3. I'm gonna fire with everything. I'm also gonna use my other evasive maneuvers. I really don't want to be getting hit with range 3 weapons. They apply sharp steering, so I wonder if that means he's moving forward. Yes, it does. We are going to attempt to move back, and we will also board their ship. Use the ship boarding, boarding assault. Fortunately, we miss with both shots. They miss with their grav cannon, which is good. Definitely don't want to get hit by that. And uh, our boarding is a success, so let's do it. All right, swordsman, pistolier, two soldiers. Captain's going to use gliding advance, and we are going to use tactical shove to get our bodyguard in the front row, and also probably use backline leader. Maybe not. We're going to use uh, Discipline and then we'll use Full Auto next turn. Captain can go ahead and start killing the Pistolier. We can have our Combat Medic attack this buffed Soldier. And we'll probably use Screening Fire here. Or Honor Guard. A screening fire on the uh, soldier with the buff. And now we can go full auto here. And that is nice. He did resist the debuff, so it's not going to matter. Captain's going to finish the combat here. Alright. Unfortunately, we didn't get something good to sabotage. It's just the weapons locker. Um, but we did destroy it. And... We'll panic the crew and we will depart. 
Alright, back to range 3. We are going to open fire with all weapons. Um, we will use bombardments. Alright, things are looking good for us. We are going to open fire with all weapons again. And... I think we're going to board again. Alright, that worked out well for us. Let's uh, jump into this crew combat. Captain with a pretty good initiative roll. Definitely going in front of all of them. We'll use gliding advance to move forward. Probably just going to open with full auto here. This should kill both. And Captain will swing on the others with dissection. And that's how you do crew combat. Super easy. <laughs> uh, those are just random crew members though, so nothing to get too excited about. We'll go ahead and fire and board again. See if we can make quick work of this crew. And move forward. Gliding in advance. We'll start with dissection. Unfortunately, didn't kill either one of them. Use tactical shove or tactical edge. Medic should be able to kill. And go ahead and use suppressing fire on this guy with initiative. And we will. There's he's screening fire here on this guy. Fortunately, he's still able to hit with the debuff, not the end of the world. Captain will kill. No, Captain's gonna use dissection. No, he's not. He doesn't have the. Doesn't have stealth. Uh, Captain will kill. And Maddox should be able to kill here, and should bleed out from dissection. Oh no, he still has a little bit of health left. But not anymore. We got the sensor array, which will help us hit it, hit the ship. And uh, that crippling dread debuff's pretty legit, right? Like, um, you know, like you see here, our evasive maneuvers is gone, but, um, our boardings are really crippling this ship, right? Like, it's got negative 30% uh, accuracy, negative 30% armor, negative 20 range change, and he's taking morale damage. And then we also have that engine failure debuff, um, which is pretty serious. So, it's part of what makes boarding like super strong. Um, I will fire everything, and I think this might finish him off. Not quite. Let's see, the hold's got a, I have 200 health left, so this should finish off the ship. And then the hold's ruptured, we have one. Alright. Uh, we did lose. Uh, how much rep? 8 rep. Okay, so we left. We lost 8 rep. Dar already don't like us. So hopefully we don't have to put any more Dar down. Uh, looks like a pirate trap. And... I think we're actually going to fight the Steel Song. Even though they are our... Our home faction. 
we could actually use the Kadar Rub. I feel like it's actually pretty beneficial here. Um, I'm going to use Perfected Approach and we'll fire with our missiles. Since we don't have all of those boarding talents available like we did before, we'll probably be closing straight to uh, close range. Go ahead and get Bombardment up. Unfortunately, we missed with the Plasma Cannon. Um, we did hit, so we applied Bombardment and uh, we're at range 3. We're moving forward again. And we'll apply Elusive Barrage. And we're going to go ahead and apply a Perfected Approach to ourselves. Um, I like having the defensive buff there. He did hit, hit us with that uh, second lance shot. We will be boarding here. It's unfortunate he has two lances. That means that uh, he's going to be sitting here shooting at us twice. So hopefully after we board we're able to disable the uh, uh, lance. Two snubbers and two pistol ears. Very interesting uh, group composition here. We are going to apply backline leader. Captain got a uncharacteristically low initiative roll. It's okay. I think we'll probably top off the medic's health here. And I think we're going to go full auto. Hopefully put these snubbers down. Alright, one of them died and Captain's going to swing with Dissection and do some very good damage there. And we'll use Screening Fire on the back this year. We missed, unfortunately. Maybe Rallying Aura might have been the better call there. The good news is the Snubbers are dead, so none of our crew will die. Captain will attack with Venomous Blade. He's going to attack with the higher initiative roll. We can heal our Quartermaster. Captain can attack again. And we're actually going to heal our morale. And Captain should finish this off for us. Alright. Go ahead and apply our debuffs. Unfortunately, no lance to sabotage there. Uh, so hopefully, the crippling dread uh, bails us out. Bails us out from getting hit by the lances. Missed once, but hit us with the other. Bravery line for our captain, who can use gliding advance. And we will use backline leader here. Alright. Uh, it's two enemy swordsmen. Y'all soften. I was going to just soften up the one in the back, I think I would actually kill him. Finish that one off. And I think Captain should kill it here. Kill the back one. Go ahead and heal up. I think morale is in a good spot. Go ahead and kill. Okay, uh, mass dampener, not the ideal target, but 
anything is good, right? Also, it looks like we got engine failure, so that is very good news for us. Hoping that uh, now that that debuff has fallen off of us, we uh, don't get hit by the lance. We did use a system flush. Um, it's going to help prevent um, component damage. In case we do get hit. Now it looks like this is all electronic techs. So we should uh, clean these guys up pretty quick. Alright, it's like the same mass damper popped up there. But we do get engine failure again. So very good for us. We miss with the lance both times. Oh we missed our board though. That's unfortunate. Guess I can use sharp steering here. I was just trying to keep it in reserve in case we needed to use it to escape another encounter. Do you have one additional sharp steering ready to go? Just kind of worried about us running into uh, a Kadar military um, before our, all of our uh, talents come off of cooldown. Medic did take some damage there. Let's go ahead and attack with the captain. I was hoping to put there. I'm not going to use Rallying Aura or Screening Fire. I want to be able to um, act again on this round. And unfortunately, he missed as well. I think I have to do full auto just so my medic is safe. Go ahead and finish off with uh actually we'll wait. We decided to wait on a dissection, so uh, hit the rush will fire off at the beginning of this round. Really doesn't make too much of a difference. Either way, we're going to win it. Right? I'm almost thinking... I think I'm actually going to refocus here, so my medic can heal himself. Of course he hit me. I was hoping that I wouldn't he would miss. Alright, let's just finish it. I really do need to get that bodyguard back into slot one. I guess I could start my captain in range three. That might be worth it. I think that's actually exactly what we need to do. So we'll start the captain in range three. That way when he uses gliding advance, he moves into two and the bodyguard is already in that first spot. Yeah, just like that. Captain almost always goes first because his initiative is so high and he has a bravery line. He gets another bonus three uh, initiative. Go ahead and use honor guard on our medic. And Captain can start killing people. Uh. Medic will heal himself. And... That's actually like super nice to put on the Captain too. 
we go. We're gonna put discipline up and then go for auto. Good morale break there. For auto. That's quite the hit there. And if I'm gonna try to finish everything off. Uh, I guess being the first spot, I forgot. That's actually good though, right? Like, I can always save dissection until I have um, a tactical edge on the captain as well. Alright, Medic can heal himself, and Captain can finish everything off. <laughs> oh boy. Excuse me. Alright. So... We are going to panic the crew, we're going to destroy the torpedoes, and then we will depart. So we're looking pretty good here. We are going to board again. Alright. Looking pretty solid here, and that is the enemy captain. That's good news for us. Means we should be winning this ship combat. Let's go ahead and tactical push our captain up here. We're just gonna do dissection. And back, we'll push the bodyguard back up front. I don't think I need to put honor guard on anybody. Go ahead and heal with the medic. And uh, now we can go full auto here. Captain can finish this off for us. So, very good there. Um, these don't really matter since their captain is dead. Uh, we can freely take loot from them since they are a pirate, so we will. And we can freely take fuel from them as well. Um, but we're not going to do anything else to them. Uh, let's see. Lost one rep with them for fighting them, so yeah, no biggie at all, right? Alright. Now, we do need to heal our crew. We took uh, quite a few hits in that combat. Um, I also want to double check my captain's log. Make sure no one died. I did lose a level 1 pilot, um, which is no big deal at all. Or did I? I guess the lifesaver uh, saved them, so that's cool. Um, I do need to heal though, so let's see where we can go. Looks like we have to fly back across the uh, system. Oh, nope, I have a bad filter on there. Here we go. Much, much closer. Let's go ahead and land. We'll refuel. We'll heal. We'll pay wages. We'll repair. We'll pay wages again. And we'll spice up. Alright, Captain is going to be a level 13 assassin. Getting close to level 8 combat medic, which will give us a uh, lifeline, which is very, very nice. I think we're probably going to go bio agent bomb here. And then, uh, 
and we'll probably be uh, retraining when we get level 8 combat medic. No, we're gonna we're actually gonna healer's intuition. We'll only have it for a short time. I'm uh, gonna take another level of bodyguard here, and we'll take exoscout level here. Sort these by distance. Alright. So, we are going to wrap up for this episode. Um, next time that we record, we will be doing these uh, missions here in uh, Fifth Pass and moving on to. Uh, I think we're going to to Katrina's belt next. I got missions everywhere. I do have these two in Katrina Belt though. We'll probably go do those next. Alright, thanks a lot guys. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you next time.